The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to take a look at the components and features of Mercury's 60 horsepower Bigfoot four stroke. Bigfoot engines are engineered for heavy loads such as pontoon boats, large aluminum boats, or really any boat needing more torque. Among its distinguishing features, Bigfoot's low gear ratio. The 2.33 to 1 ratio improves overall thrust and torque. Its gear case is the same as on the 115 horsepower engine and can not only turn a larger diameter propeller, but also locates the propeller deeper in the water. That lower position keeps the prop below turbulent water, allowing it to operate in less aerated water, and the oversized anti-ventilation plate prevents surface air from being drawn into the prop, which means less slippage, improved overall efficiency, and more thrust, an important factor when approaching a dock in heavy wind. The Bigfoot is designed to use a 14-inch diameter prop instead of the standard 10.5-inch. That's a whopping 20% more surface area for greater performance. Corrosion protection not only comes from these externally mounted anodes, but from a combination of low copper alloys and a finish being treated with electrodeposition priming and acrylic melamine and UV protection, giving it the shiny phantom black finish. The speedometer pickup is integrated into the gear case, which has obvious advantages. The 60 Bigfoot is equipped with a power trim and tilt with a switch right on the side of the engine, handy when standing at the ramp for trailering prep. Towards the rear, we not only have an exhaust port with the telltale water flow, but a threaded inlet to connect the garden hose to for freshwater flushes. Let's take a look under the cowling. Of course, this is a four-cylinder design with 60.8 cubic inches or nearly a liter of displacement. Here we have the long intake manifold needed to build torque for this four-stroke. That leads to a fuel distribution manifold with an injector on each end. Then we've got one, two, three, four iridium tip spark plugs that provide years of maintenance free operation. Here's the easily accessed fuel filter. As we come around the back side, the oil fill is equally easy to access. And here's the mechanical fuel pump. Coast Guard requirements call for a mechanical pump to draw fuel from the tank and feed the electric fuel pump. Here's the main power relay and then the ignition coils for providing the spark. As we continue forward, here's the connector for the vapor separator tank that houses the electric fuel pump. The dipstick is conveniently located for daily engine checks and includes a threaded inlet for connecting a suction hose for easy oil changes. And the automotive type spin-on oil filter is located just ahead. Above is the actual vapor separator tank that houses the electric fuel pump and here's the bleed-off valve to relieve the pressure before servicing. Just ahead is a fuel cooler Water runs through this to keep the fuel cool even if the engine is hot, so no worries about vapor lock. The flywheel houses the ignition components and the magneto type 18 amp alternator. And notice this Kevlar drive belt that drives the single overhead camshaft to open and close the valves. Around the front, we have the yellow cap terminator to the Smartcraft connections. Below is the main 14 pin harness connector that will run to the helm. These two plugs house all of the fuses for the main engine components, such as the electronic control module, the electric fuel pump, and the power trim and tilt. In between is the plug for the actual ECM or electronic control module, the silver box just behind. Down below are the external battery connections and the yellow fuel tank connector. And of course the 60 Bigfoot easily adapts to a tiller control. Let's take a look at the shroud itself and notice that it's not only finished off nicely, but the interior is equipped not only with sound reducing foam, but a conveniently located emergency pull start cord. That's our look at some of the components and features of Mercury's 60 horsepower Bigfoot 4-stroke. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.